Charlemagne Say the gang dunk it other day Charlemagne You are a donkey <laughs> It's time for donkey of the day Donkey of the day does not discriminate I might not have the song of the day But I got the donkey of the day So if you ever feel I need to be a donkey <laughs> man Hit it with the heat uh, Yes, yeah, the breakfast club, bitches Who's donkey of the day today? Okay, listen Donkey of the day for Wednesday, August 17th goes to all you people who have coined race reachers because you're always reaching for racism that doesn't exist. Which to me makes no sense because it is so many acts of racism around us, whether covert or overt, that exist that we really don't have to reach for it. But alas, people do. Now, the race reachers were busy yesterday. When Ellen DeGeneres posted a edited pic of herself riding on Usain Bolt's back yesterday with the caption, this is how I'm running errands from now on, hashtag Rio 2016. Now immediately, Ellen got deemed a racist, okay? One race reacher tweeted at the Ellen show, so the first thing that pops in your head when you're looking at this pic is, oh, let me jump onto his back like he's a common mule. <laughs> First of all, ain't no mule that fast. No. Nope. Let's be clear about that, all right? Another race reacher tweeted at the Ellen Show, despite its intention, this pic has ugly connotations coming from a rich white lady. Now, Ellen defended herself and said, I am highly aware of the racism that exists in our country. It is the furthest thing from who I am. Ellen, you better than me, because I wouldn't have given an explanation to these race reachers. Nothing about this pic or this caption was racist. Now, if you would have posted the caption, found me a new fast Aaron boy, y'all. Then we would have had an issue. But Usain Bolt is the fastest man in the world. The fastest man in the world has ever seen. Ellen said, this is how I'm running errands from now on. I'm, as in I am, me. So Ellen is the errand girl. Usain is the means of transportation. I don't see any racial con connotations in this meme whatsoever. In fact, I'm about to post a pic of Prince Akeem riding on Michael Phelps like a jet ski, and I'm going to caption it, this is how I'm coming to America. Okay, let me see what you race reaches have to say about that. All right. Now, I saw more race reaching yesterday because I went to go see an advanced screening of Birth of a Nation, the movie about Nat Turner. Drop one of Clues bombs for Birth of a Nation. Amazing movie. And yesterday on my IG, I posted that after seeing this movie, I don't want to talk to white people for a few days. I need a moment. Now, to me, that was 50 percent being funny and 50 percent being dead serious, because if you watch a two hour movie about slavery and you're a black man, a black person, and they are showing you the lynchings, the rapes of black women, slaves getting their teeth knocked out and forced to eat. It will piss you off. Sorry for me being human and having emotions. When I was young and saw Jaws, I didn't want to go in the water for fear sharks. When I saw Nightmare on Elm Street as a child, I didn't want to go to sleep at night for fear of Freddy Krueger. When Thomas J got stung to death by bees in my girl, I didn't want to go near a beehive for fear of being stung to death by Beyonce fans. And that's how I felt after watching Birth of a Nation because I was terrified of white people, <laughs> right? But those race reaches aren't sympathetic to my fears because they was calling I heart all day long yesterday demanding that I be suspended and fired. In fact, a Twitter account called All Lives Matter uh, the young lady, I think her name is Rebecca Ashby, at least that's what her Twitter says, has been tweeting me and iHeart all morning saying, do you see this racist tweet from C to God? He hates white people. I hope you fire him for your hate speech, for his hate speech. Another race, race reacher on Twitter said, you are a disgrace to the black community. It's thin do apologists like you that are keeping blacks on the plantation. Now, first of all, I don't even know what Dindu means, okay? <laughs> and I do not like being called things that I don't mean. That I don't even know what it means. You know what I'm trying to I say. I don't know what it means. I don't, even know, I don't even know if I should really be mad, but it sounds bad, yeah. okay? Second of all, I'm racist for saying I don't want to talk to white people after seeing Birth of a Nation, but you saying that blacks are still on the plantation is perfectly fine? Look, the moral of the story is, don't be the boy or girl who cries wolf when it comes to racism, because you know what happened to the boy who cried wolf. Eventually, nobody cared, and his sheep died. You don't want to be in that category, okay? Let me explain in the most basic of ways for you basic brain people. If you're a person who complains about everything all the time, then you're just a boy or girl who cried wolf. But if you do it on occasion and about the right reasons, then people listen. I can't wait until we get to the point in our society where we treat race reachers like the boys and girls who cry wolf that they are. Please give all these race, race reachers the biggest hee-haw. Uh -huh. uh -huh. All this real racism out here and y'all reaching for racism. That's like going somewhere where everything is free and stealing. What do you call you? A dindu? A din... Uh, let me see. Can you spell that, please? Yeah, spell D-I-N-D-U. Y'all gonna Google? I'm looking it up right Google now. Google what dindu means. It's not good? 
An innocent African American, yeah. a description used by family members of criminal African Americans who didn't do nothing. <laughs> that didn't do nothing. <laughs> 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 it didn't do nothing. <laughs> now that's funny. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. You freaking racist. You didn't do nothing. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, that was good. That was a lot. That was funny. That made me chuckle. I'm not. I'm not streaming racism for that. That was funny. Listen was to good. this. Didn't do nothing. Actually, has a Twitter account. Hold on. Let me read. Read this again. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> That's funny. Why did I miss that? Wow. See, I thought it was African. I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought he call, I did. I thought it was African. Whoa, I thought man. he was calling me some type of African something. I didn't know what that was. Well, you you didn't do nothing. All now, right. First of all, I don't even know what didn't do mean. All right. Didn't well, do apologists. Didn't do nothing. That's what he's calling me. You didn't do nothing. You didn't do nothing. The Breakfast Club.